guys, Kim from KB Tech Ed. Today, let's learn how to move and change what the audience sees when you add an image into iMovie on your iPhone or your iPad. Ken Burns effect, it's amazing. <music> Every good storyteller knows in order to be effective with your communication, you have to guide the eye of the audience to see what you want them to see when you want them to see it. So the Ken Burns effect allows you such flexibility because it lets you choose a picture that normally would be still and it allows you to give it movement and that is fantastic. And so if you watch this, the iMovie has already adjusted and put the Ken Burns effect on my image, but it might not be the effect I am looking for as the director. So when I look at it, I see that it goes from here to there, which is great, it's fine, but it might not be what I want to say or the image I want to give. So if I just tap on the picture, you see right here it says pinch to start and then if I tap the second one it will say pinch to end uh, where do I want it to finish so I'm going to tap back on my picture and I'm going to start with my my start position let's say I want to start there and then I'm going to change my end position because I actually want my end position to be there so let's look at that. Okay, that might be what I want to say, but maybe I want them to see the whole picture. So maybe my start position needed to be more like there, and my end position needs to be more here. And so that's going to give me a different effect. So if you see the transition, that's what that would look like. If you are trying to be creative and you want to guide the eye of the audience, you can do one more thing. So let's say I like the way it transitions to about the ship. And what I may need to do is put my image in twice. So I'm going to change to media. I'm going to grab my photo recently added. I'm going to grab my beautiful ship that my friend Denise made. And now this time what I can do is I can set two different pathways. So let's see this first one. I want to start, tap on it, my start position. Right here, my start position is this. And my end position is going to be the just the reveal of the ship. Now my second one needs to start with where the other one kind of left off, which is the reveal of the ship. But maybe my end position is the whole image. Now let's look at what happens. So we start with a tight close up. We get a medium shot. And now we go from that medium shot into a long shot. Okay, we have time to add one more because I think this is actually going to do exactly what I want it to do. Thank you, Denise, for making this beautiful ship. So I'm going to go to the start position. Start about there. And my end position is the sun coming out. I think this needs to go over a little bit. This needs to be out a little bit. Because 
because keep in mind, I always want my image and my music to be tied together. So how fun is this? With one picture, I start in the water, I reveal the ship that is in terrible danger, and then I realize everything's going to be okay. There is the sun. Awesome. Thank you, Ken Burns, for all of your incredible artistic talent. You, the director, can make amazing cinematography even if you never use an actual video. Good luck. Have some fun.